Hey Felipe, como va? I see you have a problem with Maluquino, by the way. Congratulations, everybody voted for you. And that's a good news. I guess having a really bad misbehaving dog can bring some good news. So I'm here to give you some pointers. Three things that I think you need. You need a plate that allows the dog to slow down the way he eats, which is something that I'm gonna send you, okay? I'm gonna send you the plate. You already have a leash, I think, but you need a leash because as soon as your dog finish eating, he goes and, and do, uh, he goes and redirect his excitement to something else. So that's, the leash is gonna help you to block that reaction. And number three, anything that is higher uh, above the floor, right? So in this case, I'm using a stair, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? Because I have a dog, absolutely similar behavior than the one you have. It's just mine does not redirect the, the aggression towards, towards uh, tools or objects. It redirects the aggression towards people which that the dog that bit me. You will see it in the show. So this is one, two, and three tools that we're gonna use to help your dog calm down, slow down, and then I see the pattern. So once you understand the pattern, it's very easy to block. So when he, when he finished eating, you're gonna put a leash. You gotta be careful because that energy can be redirected towards you. So my suggestion is gonna be that as soon as he finished eating, you take him for a walk. Just remove him from the object. It's just a moment of excitement. Then, you, then you're gonna see that three feet away, four feet away, the brain changes. Okay, I'm gonna show you. We have a dog similar like yours, but much bigger. Okay, and this one goes after you. Okay, let's go. All right, so now we're gonna go inside with a small pack that I have here. The rules is no touch, no dog, no eye contact. Always remind that and keep the gate closed all the time. That's just a rule in all kennels. It should be in every single home, but just, just the feedback. All right, so the dog that we're gonna be working with is this Labrador. This is the aggressive, a dog food aggressive dog. Her, her name is Holly. So I'm, I'm gonna introduce you to the pack. Apollo, Holly, are you kidding me? No. Feeding time, nobody plays. That's a rule. See, I gotta stay calm, especially when I'm working with an aggressive dog. So that's Buddha, Apollo, that's Andres' dog, Maven, Junior, and Holly. There you go. So here you see that eye contact. She already knows I have food. That is already a conversation. That is already a conversation that she that she's telling you um that silence to me is dangerous but i'm going to show you what my suggestion to you um for your dog <clears throat> so i'm going to put a leash on her yeah good girl so the leash is just for me to to um to bring her towards the food so i can control so i can control the speed and then i can also remove the dog if she's getting a little too excited so those, that, those, um, that's going to be the instructions that you're going to have to repeat over and over and over until the brain gets, until the brain gets conditioned to be that way. Now, in your case, your dog might, if it's not, uh, if he has no access to continue and buy something, he might try to go after you. So if if he does that, you just pull the leash up. If your dog ever turns around and and, and try to redirect that energy towards you, which is very common, uh, the the best thing you can do is pull the leash up and just give yourself space and wait until the dog comes down but never 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 uh, freak out never get nervous All right Come on. so here you see how see how the angle of the look at the body language here see they pull themselves back i'm going to show you what happens when they put the the, the plane on the floor you saw a little bit that when i asked her to stop she did a little bit of that All right. Now, let me show you what happens when the plate is in the floor. When the plate is in the floor. That was good. What happens is, move. I'm not gonna do that next to it. What happens is, when the, when the plate is in the floor, they put their two feet in between the plate and that makes them dominant. Yeah, that makes them dominant. When we put the plate here, their feet are back away from the plate, 
and that's what they have to reach. So when they do this movement, it becomes a more submissive way of eating. At the same time, it slows them down. So we're using the plate, we're using the heightness of the chair, um, we're using the heightness of the stairs. It doesn't have to be stairs, it can be anything. I'm just using this right now, right? And at the same time, we're using the leash. Good girl. So before she even gets like really aggressive or really really quiet, I'm actually sending her into an excited state. You gotta be careful if you do this around other dogs. See, Apollo didn't like the excitement. They don't like when dogs behave excited to the pack leader. All right, so, all right, let's go eat. Very nice. Very good, right there. See the leash? The, the work on the leash? And then I bring it out. Come on, good girl. Yes, I like the pack. I really like to work on the pack because they help you. They help you control the other dogs. And if she ever attacks me, everybody will jump on her. So she knows that my pack got my back. But in your case, don't try this at home. I'm just giving suggestions that you can do here. So now we're gonna do it differently. Look. Now we're gonna do it. The, the food coming to her. We did her coming to the food. Now the food is gonna come to her. Okay. Now the food moves away from her. So you see that that you can play around. You can control the brain. There we go. Good girl. That's a good girl. No, no. That's right there. This dog bit me. <laughs> this dog bit me really bad. Send me to the hospital. First dog ever in my life. Look at this girl. Now, once the food is on the floor, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowing her to touch it. I know you do that uh, at your house. You throw the food on the floor. But she's she now what she's learning is if food is on the floor, I have to be calm. I have to be patient. I've been working with her for the past two weeks. So I can't let her touch the food on the floor. So the rest of the pack, if you notice, shut the, I'm allowing them so she sees that, uh, not because other dogs are doing it, she's allowed to. You're a real good girl. You're a real good girl. You're, re you're getting rehabilitated. You're getting rehabilitated. You're getting rehabilitated. You're getting rehabilitated. Look at this. Look at this. Ah. It's rehabilitated. Look at that. So remember, there you go. If they get excited. You have to keep. You have to take the excitement up and then bring it, bring it down. Hey. Good luck, congratulations. Hopefully one day we can dance samba in Brazil. Thank you. Say hi to everybody in Brazil. Congratulations. <laughs>